Hey everybody, Sharon Smith here. And today is the last day of 2019. I'm making this video on December 31st. It will still be applicable, even if you're doing this another time. But I've been thinking that I'm setting my new intentions for the new year, as many of, many of us are doing that. And sometimes we call them New Year's resolutions. But for a lot of us, it's just intention work. But for me, and I think for most of us, that is a little bit like cleaning out a closet. It is, really. If you want new stuff to come into your closet, I think you have to get rid of some of the old stuff first. And so we're going to do some tapping today to clear out our emotional closet. We're going to let go of some limiting beliefs. We're going to let go of the need to self-sabotage. Uh, just a whole bunch of good stuff. And that's going to make way for all of the new great stuff that we want to put into our into our emotional closets, into our lives for the next year. So this is a good video to go in and clear out old stuff anytime you need it. Now, before you can do any work with me, you do have to go read my disclaimer. I have the link posted below. You're probably seeing this on Facebook, YouTube, wherever. Just, just pause me. I'm not going to do this work without you. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Everybody's going to feel better. So pause me. Go do that and welcome back. All right, let's do some tapping and clear out some old junk. Oh, I am holding on to a lot of old junk. It's all emotional old gunk. And it really no longer serves me. But I choose to be okay anyway. Even though I'm holding on to a whole lot of old emotional junk, I completely love and accept myself. And I honor all the reasons I've been holding on to these things. And I'm open to the possibility that I can let them go and move forward. All this old stuff. I don't really need it anymore. But it did serve a purpose at the time. And I give myself permission to know that I held on to some of this old stuff for some very good reasons. But now I have some really good reasons to let go of these old things. all of the old emotions that no longer serve me, all the fear, all the anger, all the sadness. All of these things contain some valuable lessons for me. And I honor that. And I'm grateful for these lessons. And now I clear the way for new things to come in. Better things. I give myself permission to make room for new intentions, new feelings, new experiences, and new people. It's safe for me to do this. It feels good to let go of the old stuff and to welcome in the new. <sighs> Peace. Okay, now let's go in and work with some old patterns just a little bit. Because a lot of us, we get used to doing things the same way. Whoop, my notes are there. The same way over and over again. And sometimes we forget that there are a lot of different ways of doing almost everything. And some of these are really great. 
So let's give ourselves permission to maybe try some new things in a different way and to feel safe doing it. Even though I'm holding on to some old patterns and I'm kind of stubborn about it. <laughs> they may not be serving me any longer. And I completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm holding on to these old patterns, I'm holding on tight. I choose to be okay anyway. And I completely and profoundly love and accept myself. And I honor all the reasons that I've had to hold on to these old patterns. It makes me feel safe to do things the way that I'm used to. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what if there might be better ways of doing some of these things? and I haven't been open to looking at them because it makes me feel unsafe. That could be the case. But what if I could change my perspective about this just a little bit? That would feel pretty good doesn't mean I actually have to do things a different way. It just means I'm open to looking at things in a different way. And that there might be a better way of doing something out there that would serve me better. I give myself permission to be open to the possibility that it's safe for me to let go of these old patterns I'm holding. So that I can be open to some new ways of doing things. Who knows? They might be better or faster, more efficient, maybe even more fun. Who knows? I don't need to hold on to these patterns. Unless they really turn out to be the best thing for me, I can let them go. I open myself to the abundance of change. And I choose to feel safe and secure doing that. Because I completely love and honor myself. And I accept all the parts of me. peace. Okay, that was really good. That was good. Now, we want to clear out self-sabotage. But what we're going to say is to clear out the need to self-sabotage. Because if we don't get rid of the need to do it, we still are going to have it. Now, you may need to use this more than once, guys. Uh, this is work that I do on a regular basis for myself and for clients. Uh, when I work one-on-one, -on -one, but especially for myself, because when we get, when we're doing something new or different, and we've all done it, we'll be going along just fine, and then all of a sudden we reach this point where we do something, say something, take some action that stops us. And we may have been proceeding on a path that was going to be you know, a great new idea, great new business thing, great new relationship, but we stop ourselves because all of a sudden we don't feel safe proceeding. And so we sabotage that. We take some action to stop ourselves. So let's clear out a little bit of that. Now, we all do it in different ways. Some of us do it with money. Some of it do it, us do it with relationships. But I want you to just think for a moment about something that you stopped yourself around and not, not move forward that you really thought was going to be good. And let's do a little tapping around that. 
I stopped myself. And I think I was on a really good track. And I'm not entirely sure why I stopped myself. But I did. And I honor all the ways I feel about this. Even though I think I may be self-sabotaged a little bit. I'm open to letting that go now. Because I want to move forward. And I want good things coming toward me. So I completely love and accept myself. And I am open to the new that's coming. I needed to stop myself for some reason. And even though I may not be aware of what those reasons were, my higher self knows. Somewhere in there, I have a deep understanding of this. But I choose to step into a higher consciousness and to allow myself to release the need to self-sabotage. It's safe for me to see these things clearly so that I can make clear choices in my life without a need to sabotage anything I do. I allow myself to have clarity in mind, body, and spirit, in all areas of my life. I completely release the need to sabotage any area of my life because I have clarity now. It's safe for me to see all of these things clearly and easily and I know that I can trust myself to make good decisions. And I allow myself to remember that things are working out in my favor and that I am loved. And it's safe to make clear choices. Peace. Okay, that was great tapping. Come back and do this one often. And if you're a fan of my videos, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And if you subscribe to my website, the link is down below, you get a couple of cool free gifts and you get my twice a month vlog. And that's video chat coming from me and there's always some tapping in it. So I look forward to seeing you again soon and Happy New Year! Mwah!